We're talking to Jackie Collins on AM Chicago. Everyone wants to know about Hollywood Husbands, of course. I, I read this, that Kirk Douglas came up to you and said, honey, if you're going to talk, write a book about Hollywood Husbands, you need to talk to me. Actually, what happened was I was having lunch in the famous Mar Maison one day, where we yes. indeed lunch, yes. you and I. Yes. And I was with some women, and Kirk Douglas came up to the table, and he said, Jackie, this is just after Hollywood Wise was published. He said, Jackie, when are you going to write a book about me? Ha, ha, ha. And they all went, I think she already has, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't about him, I add quickly. No, not at no. all. Wh what do the Hollywood husbands tell you? Everything. Really? They really do. You know, guys that have been married to, to famous women, or perhaps they've been married to the famous daughter of a superstar, really come up to me at parties and say, now, Jackie, we have to seriously sit down and have lunch because I want you to include the stories. They, it, Could you tell us some, even if you don't tell us the names, just a couple? Well, there was this one woman that was married to a famous um, producer. And uh, this, this is really kind of a funny story. And she, it was her birthday, and she went into the jewelry store, and she saw this big diamond ring. And she said to the jewelry store, I'm going to bring my husband in to buy this, but I want 15% commission. So he said, the jeweler said, great. She bought her husband in. He bought her the ring. She got 15% commission on the side. Then she took her lover in, and she said to the jewelry store beforehand, my lover is going to buy the same ring, but you give me back the money and you can keep 15%. So she took her lover in and he bought her the ring. Now the funny thing about the story is the fact that now she's got the ring, one ring, she's got all the money from it too, but she can wear it with her lover and her husband and both of them think they bought it for her. <laughs> that is great. It's a real Hollywood story. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and another good one is that uh, this, this husband, this Hollywood husband was playing around in his wife for many years and it was his 50th birthday birthday so she gave him a surprise party the surprise was that when he came in and all everybody went surprised it was all his ex-lovers over the last 25 years <laughs> these are true stories that's great <laughs> you think that's great too i think that's great that's great you had a question yes hi yes hi, hi. jackie since you started writing these books about uh hollywood wives and husbands all that yeah. have you lost any friends well i don't think <laughs> I don't think they were friends in the first place if I lost them. I think people, um, I, I find that people in Hollywood call me up. Sue Mangus, is, who's one of the biggest agents in Hollywood, called me up the other day and she said, I double parked, she said, to buy Lucky. And I loved every word of it because it's so accurate. I think they feel that I am giving an accurate picture, Whoa. perhaps of the international jet set, which is Lucky, Hollywood, which is Hollywood Wives. Whatever I write, I try to be accurate about. So I don't think I've lost any friends. And if they were, you know, then they weren't friends in the first place. When you do, do you ever have time to spend time with friends? And when you just sort of get together with your friends, what do you do? Oh, sure. I make old English traditional dishes like shepherd's pie, which they have to help themselves in the kitchen because I don't believe in, in having a lot of people around. You know, a lot of people in Hollywood, they get carried away with success. They surround themselves with servants. You go to their house and somebody answers the door, somebody makes you a drink, three servants serve the meal. And it's ridiculous. I think you have to really keep your sense of reality to live there. Yeah, I've been to your house. You open the door yourself. Of course. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm me. You know, I mean, I, I think that if you're going to write about it, you can't get, fall into any of the traps. A lot of people go to bed with their press clippings and believe them. Which is very sad. And is, is that why there is this, this whole, all, all, so much vanity and so much fear of losing whatever it and is? And also this is why there's a great drug problem there. Because people become so insecure that they will snort coke or whatever to go out, to go to the set. And then the next day they'll have to do it again because they won't have the confidence to do it without, you know, some drug dependency. I think it's getting better. I think a lot of people are, you know, kind of I coming out of that, the closet. That, yeah, that and, and, and looking for a cure now. But it's very sad. So, you know, there's, there's the good part of Hollywood and there's the bad part. And I shall write about it all in Hollywood Husbands. <laughs> <laughs> all in Hollywood Husbands. It's wonderful to have you on, on the show again. Oh, it's been so great to see you again, Oprah. I thank you for coming because, as we were talking to the audience, Jackie's book is number one on the bestsellers list, which means she does not have to go around to promote the book because everyone's reading it anyway. So thank you very much but for coming to Chicago. But you know what's fun? It's fun to come somewhere like Chicago and to meet an audience like you today. You've really been terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll be back to talk about tomorrow's show in a moment. Whatever.